Hi, I'm Sean from Valor Fireplaces here in Vancouver, Canada, and today I want to talk about batteries in Valor Fireplaces, how to find them, and how to change them. So let's get started. Now first off, not everyone's actually aware that there are batteries in Valor Fireplaces. You do, of course, require batteries in the remote, that's a given, but also in the fireplace itself, batteries are needed to communicate with the remote between the receiver and the handset, as well as to open and close the valve, and strike the igniter when you first turn the fireplace on. Now losing any of these features will render the fireplace inoperable, so it's important to check your batteries frequently, make sure they get changed at least once a year, preferably right before the cold season, to make sure that you get the best out of your fireplace. Now the first major option where you might find the batteries, if they're not located in the fireplace itself, is here in a remote battery wall switch kit. Now if you have one of these, it'll be mounted on the wall somewhere, uh, it'll look like a regular light switch panel with two different ports. This port is going to be all about your on-off and, and uh, up-down flame controls. The other side has a magnetic panel that can be removed and you can pull a battery holder directly out through the panel. The second place you might find the batteries is here, in the receiver box within the fireplace itself. And this is kind of the brain of the fireplace. This does the communicating with the remote and does all the major controls for the fireplace. Now we don't typically put the batteries in the receiver box these days, but depending on the age of your installation, you might find them there. So this is a good place to start looking. Now if the batteries aren't located in the receiver itself, they'll be in one of two different styles of battery holders that'll be connected to the receiver via a cable. These are the two different holders we are currently using in production today. Now it's important to use a high quality alkaline battery. We actually recommend Energizer and Duracell as our two brands of batteries to use in the fireplace itself. Never use a no-name brand battery and never use a rechargeable battery as we've always found out in the field that these do not perform very well in a high heat environment. Now assuming your batteries aren't located in the wall holder, they'll be in the fireplace. Now in all installations, regardless of what kind of fireplace you have, it can only be in one of two locations, either to the left of the fireplace window at the bottom or under the fireplace itself in an opening beneath the window. In either case, you're going to have to remove uh, any add-ons, fronts, uh, decorative pieces to get at those areas, but none of these require any tool use. You can do this in the home so long as the fireplace has been allowed time to cool down before you attempt to remove the decorative pieces. Make sure you see your user manual for any help on how to remove the parts of your individual fireplace. If you're changing the batteries directly in the receiver, you'll find the behind this panel, which you can easily slide by pulling on, set aside, and then you'll find a ribbon underneath. If it's been installed correctly, you'll see this ribbon right here, and that's underneath all the batteries, making sure that there's an easy way to pull them out. When you're ready to put new batteries in, make sure that you choose the positive end and the negative end. The positive end on here is a a marked with a plus and it's black, and the negative end is the other end, the silver end, and the negative end always goes against the springs. So we'll put the negative end in first, push down the positive end second. When those are all in correctly, you might hear a little beeping as the receiver starts up and you can put the cover back on. If we're dealing with a battery holder, there are two different styles. The first is what we call our flat pack here. To get into the flat pack, unscrew the small screw here at one end of the, one end of the battery panel. Set it aside carefully so that you don't lose it. And then slide the cover off. Inside, you're going to find a flat array of four batteries, just like we found in the receiver. So take them out, pry out the positive end first, in all cases. To put them back in, make sure you check underneath. There's a positive and negative indicator there. I know it can be a little hard to see on camera, but the negative end is always going to go against the spring. We'll put the negative end in first, positive end in second, negative end in first, positive end in second, and when all four batteries have been replaced, you can slide the cover back on and replace the screw. Now the other kind of battery holder we have is this style, which is a two by two stack. There's two batteries on the front and two on the back. 
You'll notice there's no removable cover on this battery pack. To remove the batteries, it's the same technique. Pull out the positive end toward the spring and lift it out. Same in the other direction. And do the same on the other side, removing those two batteries as well. When you're ready to replace them, simply put the negative end in first and push the positive end down. And the same with all remaining batteries until all four have been replaced. Now, regardless of which style of battery holder you're using, you're going to notice on one end of the battery holder that there's this wire connecting to it. Now, this, if you pull it off, and you may need to to get at the battery pack, if you pull it off, you'll notice it looks like a 9-volt battery connector. Do not connect a 9-volt battery to this wire. It is only meant to be connected back to the battery holder itself. If you're using the wall switch kit with the two bay doors, the batteries are going to be behind the panel marked fireplace battery access. Now this panel's magnetic. There's no tool required to gain entry. You simply can pull it off with your fingernails and get at the battery pack inside. Now this battery pack is going to look familiar. It's the same one we use directly in the fireplace. This is the two by two pack. All you have to do is pull it out and replace the batteries exactly as we've already shown, and then carefully put the battery holder back in and replace the cover. And that's everything. Now you have all the knowledge you need to change the batteries in your Valor fireplace. If you need more help, be sure to check our website and find the individual manual for your fireplace and see the instructions inside. That's everything for now. Thanks for watching.